Hello, my old school soul food family. Chef Jeffy back with another video. All right, y'all, as I promised y'all earlier this month, the celebration Black History Month, I'm going to do the item that I've been cooking. First thing I ever cooked, y'all, really on a regular basis, is lemon meringue pie. I'm going to do it exactly like I did it. I'm going to add one little ingredient that I didn't do back in 1970 something. With I was like 12 or 13 years old, y'all. When I uh, first started making this lemon meringue pie. And I, the reason I started making it, I was trying to, we was trying to raise money for the Bible, uh, uh, what do they call the Bible school? Didn't it? Bible school, the summer Bible school classes. And uh, I was selling these pies, $5 each, y'all. $5 a pie. I made everyone by scratch. I made everything by scratch. I used to make the dough by scratch till I got so many orders. Then I started buying the pie uh, crust uh, to make it a little bit easier. But this, and I used to make it in a double boiler also. So these are the ingredients I used to use. So first thing I'm gonna do, y'all, I'm gonna mix my sugar and my cornstarch together. Mix this together. That way it's easy to incorporate it. When I add it to the milk. Now, a lot of people use uh, water. Now, I've used water before or later, but when I used to make these pies growing up, I always used milk. I didn't know about using water. I always have used milk. So it's like a lemon meringue cream pie, really. It makes it more creamier. So, so anyway, y'all, let's get over here to the pot here. And like I say, I used to use a double boiler because uh, back in the day, they didn't make, we didn't have them good pots in my mama's house. We had them thin pots. And and we also uh, had a double boiler. I don't know if they still make double boilers anymore. Because the pots that now are so well made, y'all. Double boilers are pretty much getting obsolete. So I got the milk in here. Now I'm going to add the flour, not flour, the cornstarch and sugar mixture. And we're going to bring this to a boil. But you got to be very careful when it hit that boiling point because it's going to thicken very, very quickly once that temperature start boiling and that corn starts start activating in the heat. It's going to thicken very, very quickly. So you got to really, really watch it. And once it starts boiling, we're going to take some out. And this is where I first lost, uh, learned how to temper eggs, y'all. I ain't know nothing about tempering. That's why when I got in school, I already knew about tempering. When I went into culinary school, a lot of young kids didn't know about tempering eggs and all that. My mama taught me that. To put the hot mixture into the eggs, temper them together, and then pour it back in there. She the one taught me that. So I knew that before I went to culinary school. So, so we're going to show you how to temper the eggs. Put it back in there. And then we're going to add our lemon juice. And I'm going to add some lemon compound, y'all. You can add lemon uh, extract if you want. But my lemon uh, paste that I put in there, it gives it a more lemony flavor. And the last thing I do is add my butter to this. So anyway, I'm going to step off y'all let this kind of get uh, heating up. We'll come back. We'll do the last step. Old school lemon pie. First thing I ever made at age of 12, y'all. It's really a throwback. We'll be right back. All right, y'all. We are back. Now, look at this thickness of this, y'all. See how thick that is? Now, I turn it off because I don't want it to get away on me because I got to add the uh, eggs to this. So what I do, y'all, take a little of this stuff here, hot mixture, and add it to the egg mixture. Just like this. If I don't do this, as y'all know, we'll have scrambled eggs if I pull this egg yolk right into the hot mixture. So we want to mix that up in there really, really good. Get that temperature the same temperature as this. Put it in here, y'all. Alrighty. Now we're going to mix this up in here. I still got the fire off, y'all. I want to kind of get it mixed up here before I get the fire back on. All right. Just getting that nice looking color on there. Okay, turn my fire back on, my heat back on there. We're gonna stir this up in here, smooth it off there. 
Now, I'm going to add my lemon juice to this. Add my lemon juice now. Get it incorporated in there. And let it cook about two or three minutes. And then we're going to add our butter. Now, I'm going to add my compound. I'm going to get this mixed up here really slowly. Make sure that get fully incorporated. Get really, really smooth there, y'all. I'm telling y'all, this one of the throwback pies of the day. Back in the day, growing up in my household, and it was a neighbor down the street, really, really tiny lady. She made the best lemon meringue pie ever. I hate I never got the recipe. Of course, she passed away years ago, but she made the best lemon meringue pie I ever tasted. Okay, now. We're going to add some lemon compound to this. That's going to give it more, I call it lemon paste, really. I get it at, uh, well, you got Amazon, Amazing Cakes. I get it at that shop. You can get it online, too, y'all. It takes the place, uh, it's a little bit more delicate flavor than the, let me show y'all what it is. See this? See that? The lemon paste I add to this. The last thing I'm going to do, y'all, I'm going to add my butter to this. It's going to give it that nice shine that you're looking for. And you, in fact, I'm going to turn my fire off because I don't need my fire anymore. And the residual heat just going to melt this butter in there. See that nice, nice lemon meringue pie filling. And that didn't take long at all to make, y'all. Didn't take long at all. Get that, y'all. Get it all mixed up in there. All mixed up in there, y'all. There we go. All right, look at that beautiful. Look how beautiful is that, y'all. Make sure you scrape all around the bottom. All make sure you get everything fully mixed. Now. We're gonna move over here to the pie shell. And I'm gonna pour it in my pie shell here, y'all. And the pie shell is definitely cooked all the way off. Completely cooked. It's not par baked or nothing. It is cooked all the way off, y'all. I'm gonna just pour this right into the pie shell. Just like this, y'all. Just like this. Get everything out of there, all that goodness out of there, y'all. Leave nothing in there. There we go. Like I said, y'all, this is more of a creamy lemon meringue. This is the way I used to make them. The way I used to make them. Now, I'm going to step off here a minute, get everything cleaned up, and we're going to come back and we're going to put the meringue on here. We're going to do the meringue, put the meringue on here. We'll be right back. All right, y'all, we are back here. Okay, now we're going to make the meringue for this. Moraine, all you're doing is using the egg whites as leftover that you separated the egg yolks from from the pie. And all I'm putting in here, y'all, is sugar, vanilla, and I'm putting a little lemon juice. Now, some people use cream of tartar. I don't keep a lot of cream of tartar on hand. I really don't. I don't use it a lot. So a substitute, if you don't have cream of tartar, you can use vinegar. You can use lemon juice. You can use buttermilk, depending on what you're doing. Of course, I wouldn't put buttermilk in this meringue because of the, uh, it's meringue, but we got cream of tartar for a cake or something, for butter, anything acidic to, about, that's what cream of tartar does. It just uh, stabilizes the egg whites so it doesn't weep. Uh, sometimes if you don't have cream of tartar, you can use uh, baking powder. Cause you know all baking powder is, is cream of tartar and baking soda. That's all baking powder is, is cream of tartar and baking soda. So uh, anyway, y'all, let's get started here. Uh, I got my little beaters here. I'm not going to even break out my big beaters. We're going to whip it just like this. And another thing, y'all, when you do have your egg whites, you know this before, I've told you before, make sure they room temperature and the bowl is completely clean, not oily or nothing. Because if your bowl is oil when you're whipping the egg whites, it's not going to whip consistently. And, of course, if they're not room temperature, they're not going to whip consistently. So, anyway, y'all, we'll be right back when we get this whipped up because it's going to be loud.
All right, y'all, we're back here. Now, I, before I add the sugar to this, matter of fact, I'm not going to add no vanilla because I got lemon juice here, so I don't need that extra flavor. Now, when it gets to like this consistency, like a soft peat, that's when you're going to add your sugar slowly. You don't want to add your sugar at the beginning. Uh, well, I should have told you. Well, y'all will know when I see the video. Uh, because it's not going to whip up. It's going to take longer to whip up the egg whites. So when you get like a little soft peaks like this, then I add my sugar very, very slowly. Then I'm going to add my lemon juice. So let's get started here. We'll be right back. All right, y'all. Uh... All right, y'all, we are back. See this, y'all? This is what you pretty much want. See that? See so have nice, stiff peaks on here. And I could let it go more, but that's pretty much what you want. So, let's clear this out the way. We're going to get this on the pot here. And get this in the oven. And what I like to do, y'all, when I put it on the pie, I like to go up to the edges. You want to seal the edges, y'all. See that? That's where y'all can see it. I want to kind of seal the edges there. So that's the that's the key when you first put the moraine on there. You seal the edges there. So it doesn't come apart on you. And then you just kinda do your little peaks like this. I don't wanna put too much on here, y'all. And you just put your little do your little designs. Well, you have your nice looking peaks there. I could have whipped this a little longer, y'all, but it's okay. Go a little edges there. All right, y'all. We're going to put this in the oven. 350 degrees until it get brown. So we'll be right back. All right, y'all. We are back here. All right, y'all. The pie's out the oven here. And I'm definitely gonna let this cool completely before I even attempt to cut this thing. Y'all know that lemon meringue pie definitely has to be cool completely or you'll never be able to get it out of the oven. Like I said, y'all, I could whip that uh, uh, meringue a little higher, but sometimes it's just so much meringue on it. My mama used to call it calf slobber. That's what she used to call it, calf slobber. My mama didn't like it. She didn't like meringue at all. But I can make it high, but it's more eating meringue than the pie. So I put more pie than meringue this time. So, yeah. So anyway, y'all, I'm going to step off here and I'm going to uh, let it cool. I'll be back in about four or five hours here once it's cooled in the fridge. We'll cut a slice and we'll see if it's good like it used to be back in the day when I first started making them. We'll be right back. All right, y'all. We are back here. All right, y'all. Like I was telling y'all, this is what I grew up making. I think I made in my life maybe 500 of these pies, y'all. I bet you. And pretty much make them in my sleep. Look at that. Like I say, usually sometimes I want the meringue really, really high. But you can see now I do more pie than meringue. So that's pretty much what you want, y'all, when you do the little meringue pie. Just, I mean, you can use water. But I grew up making it with milk just like this. See that? And I let it set in the refrigerator about three or four hours, let it set up. So enough of that. Let's try this bad boy out and see what we got here. 
Yeah, see, we got a little crust there on the bottom. Look at that there. Let's throw it in. Mmm, 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 mmm. A little creamy. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Look at that, y'all. Oh my God. Look at bite. Mmm. Wow. Nothing better. With the meringue sliding off right there. A little piece, another piece here, y'all. Look at that. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. That's so smooth. You see how smooth that is? How smooth that filling is? No lumps. No nothing. Well, anyway, y'all. Brings back memory of my childhood. First time my mom ever taught me to make, I was selling five dollars a pie. I used to make a lot of money for the church, y'all. So, anyway, this is a little Black History Month uh, thing. I want to just show y'all what I did growing up in childhood and the little techniques you was using a double boiler. That was a technique. Tempering eggs a technique, and even making pie dough was a technique at a young age and how to whip uh, egg whites and make them stabilize and not shrink away. You see it kind of shrinking away from here, y'all, a little. Most time it doesn't shrink away from the pie. So anyway, not weeping either. No weep holes in it. So anyway, y'all, let me close this video. If you like this video, please share, please comment, please subscribe. Please follow them all the social media accounts, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, Twitch TV, Pinterest, and OldSchoolSoulFood.com. Remember the hashtag 2023. Just show some kindness. Old School Soul Foods. And next time, have a blessed Old School Soul Food day. And I will see y'all in the next video. Love y'all. Bye.